Spiderweb as requested. Kake. Ready. Okay, I'm going to turn, putting my right foot into this northeast square, inside, outside, land in an hourglass. So I've got my outside here, and I drop with a groin strike. Now this is going to be a, a leg strike as I turn. So my front foot goes to the opposite quadrant, and then now my new front foot goes to the opposite quadrant. So I'm back into a 50-50. My spine is aligned with the cross. I just did that groin uh, cover and leg and or leg strike, and then I do my next technique, which is a double. So again, I'm going to sweep. There's an inside. Up. Okay, I'm in opposite quadrants. I'm in an hourglass. I drop down to cover the groin, and I'm going to cover as I turn. Cover as I turn, inside, single, drop. Now, the orange line is the key for this first session of the pair of techniques. My left foot is behind this line, but my heel is where that orange line is. So this very first thing, a opponent is punching with their right hand. All I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and put my toes behind this line. I'm just creating some space, and my hand is coming up to go outside of their arm. As I parry that arm, I slide it, and I'm in a horse stance. That heel does not touch the ground here. This is not a forward stance. This is kind of a temporary reverse cat. My heel is up, boom. Now I'm in a horse stance, facing southwest, and their fist is right here, and I've just struck out this way and covered my groin. Now I'm in control. They want to pull back. I've got control of this. I'm going to simply turn into an hourglass. Their fist is still here. They can't throw that left punch as long as I'm controlling this. Now when I'm ready to go to the outside of their left arm, which they're about to punch, I'm going to release this and go through that V. This is the first forward stance of spiderweb. Off to the northeast or excuse me, southwest. So I'm outside their arm. I start sliding down their arm. And notice my foot move back a little bit. It's got to move back or I'm not going to be in alignment. So I'm sliding down to the end of the wrist. This one is as well. I've got control here. Now I'm going to do a temporary cat because this feels awkward, but this does not. If I do a temporary cat, then I can change hands. So I grab a hold. I shoot through in a forward stance. My right arm is down, holding their arm down. Left arm skips the ribs and goes up into their armpit. So left arm's up, right arm's down. I pivot back around, and I'm taking their hand down, and I'm handing it off. So I just grab their left arm with my left hand. Boom. My elbow goes into their side, right here in the console brachialis. And the arm is stretched across here. I've actually got the arm bar at this point, but we're going to go ahead and move it to the pos double and then the pos eye. So I'm pushing forward, and now I'm into a frontal arm bar. Left, right. Back into that stance, and I'm centering on the crosshairs right here. My spine is in a line. Okay, so now we're just going to do the same thing again. Opposite quadrants with a double. As I turn, I'm covering. Head, drop, single, drop, groin cover, single, double. All right, so this time the left hand's coming, so I've got an extra move. I'm going heel up, heel up to get out of the way. And then I'm sliding down into the horse stance, strike. Then I open up, I'm controlling the retreat here, and then I let them go and go through the V to get to the outside of their arm. First forward stance in this sequence. Slide down, that rear leg retreats a little bit to get into that uh, horse stance. Temporary cat allows my hand to change comfortably. 
and shuffle back into forward. Left is down, strike the ribs up, slide my thumb down the back of their arm, and switch. Elbow into the side, intercostal brachialis. So I've got, boom, I've got that forearm into them. Uh, got an arm bar at this point. But that's not a good enough arm bar. We're going to go ahead and push into the side so we get in front of it for the arm bar. Now, I'm going to go across, across, those are two doubles for this next session. And this time, whichever hand is forward, the leg is forward. This is the opposite of the other sessions we've done. So, upper, single, drop. This time when I cover, it's not rolling. It's staying palm down. So, I'm coming that way. So see how I strike? Boom, this way. Into that strike. Okay, now for the rear attacks. We're going to turn, double, and come into here and shuffle back. Now I'm facing northwest and to get my hip aligned into them and not straight into their center I've got to shift as I come back. So I've got the hands, one hand of their arms is going up, the other is pushing down. My hip has gone into them. So I start northwest, then I'm north. Slap the face or neck up over the shoulder and standard arm bar. Same thing going back here, I'm facing southeast, I'm facing east. Slap over arm bar. Double. Back, I'm facing southwest, I'm facing west. My body is aligned west. Slap, slap, over. I'm facing northeast, I'm facing north. Slap, slap, over, I've got the arm bar.